Well, hey there guys, Abby from Abby Kirsten Collections here. I wanted to make a quick video for you to make sure you are aware of one of the new additions to Cricut Design Space, and that is editable images. It's a mouthful, but if you look over here in what's called the design panel, we're gonna see a new option to click on here. So I'm just gonna click on that and demonstrate. So if you are an Access subscriber, or even if you're not, and maybe you uh, are looking at the free images that uh, Cricut offers from time to time, there may be times where you're looking at some of these and you're like, okay, well, I love, let's say, let's take this one here, legendary since 1995. Let's say we like this image, but the year isn't correct. We need it to be 1999, let's say. So with the new edible images, what you're able to do, excuse me, I said edible, editable, editable images, um, you can select anything under this category add it to your canvas and you can now change the text and typography in it and you have more control over that so that's something that you couldn't do before um, with just the general image base that Cricut offers so they're expanding the capabilities to customize so a lot of these images I've pulled in from this new um, editable image tab they're always attached so if you're like, why, why can't I ungroup this? Make sure you look down at the bottom of the layers panel and you click on the detach button. They will often be attached together. So just click detach and then you'll be able to come in here and ungroup as you normally would if you brought in a new file. And then you can come in and select these things individually. So like with the 1995, maybe we need to change that to 1999. Now we can double click Whereas with images that Design Space offered before, they were just set in stone. They were as they were, take it or leave it. But with these new functions, you're able to actually edit the font and the text, which is really cool. Um, as of right now, this is only available under the uh, editable images tab, but I would not be surprised if Cricut ends up like combining it into their other image library at some point and then just creating it as a separate filter or something like that. So that might be something that they're working towards or maybe they're trying to update most of their image base to be able to do this with everything, which would be really cool. Um, I think that would be really cool if Cricut did that. So I was able to edit the, um, the date here. However, with these editable images, there are still some restrictions depending on the design. So if we look at the word legendary since, and I try and double click in that, that's not an option for me. So what they've done is they've taken the most sensitive information that you would need to customize for yourself, such as the date, and they've allowed that to be um, in a text format so that you can double click in it and you can edit as you would like. Let me just pull in another one as an example here. Um, let's see, this is a good example, hello 75. So we could add this to canvas. And again, this is attached. So a lot of these images are attached. I'm gonna click detach at the bottom of the layers panel here. I'm just gonna move this over here, scale this up. Okay, and then we can click ungroup once we've detached. And taking a look here, the word hello is not editable. So if we look at the operation right up here, if we click on the word hello and look at operation, it's telling me it's a basic cut. There's no like text there or anything like that. So I can't double click and reveal any text to edit. However, the um, word that we would need customized here being 75, this when we click on is text, we see our font or our text edit bar appear, and we can double click inside and change that. So maybe I want to change this to uh, 25, okay? Now we were able to change that to customize what we need for our particular project. So that's in an essence and in a nutshell what the new editable images is. Um, it's quite cool, they have have quite a few already in here. Um, and let's see if they have any free ones available. They do have some free ones available as of right now. These probably change out from time to time. Cricut likes to do that. So if you just wanna practice with them or you wanna try some of their free images here, um, then you can absolutely do that. Just filter by free. And uh, that's it for this video. Let me know what questions you have about the new editable images in Cricut Design Space.